Does your current workflow setup leave you feeling disconnected from your contacts key moments? Well, it's time to take control and tailor your workflows to sync with specific dates or contact properties. Watch this video to learn how. To select your workflow type, in your HubSpot account, go to Automation, Workflows. At the upper right corner, click on Create Workflow. Click on From Scratch. In the left panel, choose Contact Based as your workflow type. On the right panel, depending on your choice, either pick a specific date or select a contact date property for your workflow's focus. Click Next. Click the pencil icon to give your workflow a name. This will take you to the workflow editor. Set enrollment criteria. If you only want to enroll contacts manually, leave the enrollment trigger box blank. In the workflow editor, click set up triggers. On the left panel, Choose a filter type for your enrollment trigger. Set up the criteria. And to apply the filter click save. By default, contacts are enrolled in a workflow only the first time they meet the enrollment triggers. If you want re-enrollment, go to the left sidebar. Click the re-enrollment tab, select the re-enrollment checkbox, and choose the triggers for re-enrollment. Click Save. All actions in the workflow will be scheduled relative to the selected date or contact date property. To set the date and time for the next action, click Delay Action. Click the when will the next action execute drop down menu and select a date or if the action will execute before on or after the contact date property. Select the date and the time of day then click save. Select an action for your workflow and set up its details. Click save. Use the plus icon to add more workflow actions. If your actions involve sending marketing emails, consider setting a workflow goal to measure engagement with your content. Manage Workflow Settings Click the Settings tab to manage your workflow settings. On the General page, configure the days and times for action execution, enroll contacts from Salesforce, and associate campaigns with the workflow. On the Unenrollment and Suppression page, set criteria to remove or exclude records from the workflow automatically. To turn on your workflow, at the upper right corner, click Review and Publish. Choose whether to enroll records that currently meet the criteria or only enroll records that meet the criteria in the future. Review Workflow Settings, then click Turn On. Now, you're perfectly aligned with your contacts, reaching out when it's most relevant, and making those interactions truly meaningful. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to HubSpot Tutorials by WebDU to join our HubSpot community. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more in-depth tutorials and exciting tips. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll uncover more HubSpot treasures.